Hello everyone, today we are going to create a simple 2D floor plan with CADMAT 2021 software. Okay, uh, first uh, we can create new drawings. You can click uh, this icon new. And now I will use uh, this template, Gcat ISO in uh, millimeters. You can click open. Next, uh, I will uh, type a DS to open drafting settings, press enter, and now you can click on object snap, we can active this uh, all snaps, you can click OK. In it, I will create line, you can press L, create line, start from these points, and move uh, to the top here, you can set into 8000. Okay, now in here, we can use uh, zoom extend, you can uh, press a button to close a line command. Uh, double click on the middle mouse it will be quite uh, zoom extends you also can uh, zoom in and zoom out with the uh, scroll mouse and if you press hold it will be quite uh, pen option the next i will create lens again start from this point move to the right here we can set into 6000 over to the bottom about 6500 Move to the left here, we can set into 3000 and uh, to this point 1500 and you can click at this point. I will put line star from uh, this point and you can uh, click at this point, move into here. We cut again from this point to the top, I will set into 1000 and you can click at this point. Use a copy command to copy this line object so to the bottom here. We can set into 2500. And now I will copy this line object. To drag here, we can set into 2300. Okay. Now you can use a trim command to cut uh, this line object. And also at this point. To combine uh, these uh, entities, we can use a join command. You can tap joins. Okay, we can select out uh, these entities. Press enter so it will be combined into polyline. The next we join again at uh, these uh, points and also in it. Okay, now I will use uh, offset command. You can type offset, press enter, and you can change uh, for a uh, distance into 150. Click at this objects, click inside here. Okay, click again in here, inside, and also at this point, inside in here. You can press uh, escape button or enter to exit uh, this command. To cut uh, this line objects, you can use uh, trim command. You can tap PR, press enter twice, and you can select uh, this line objects to cut. Okay, we cut in here, in uh, this point, and the last in the top here. Okay, for door, I will create a simple door. You can uh, use a line command to create lines. Start from this point to the top. We can set into 900. Okay, I will create arch. You can press enter. Tab C to use uh, in uh, center point. And we can click at this point. Move to the top here. Now you can press uh, control button, hold. And then we can click at this point. We copy this uh, line object uh, to the right here. I will set into 20. Now in here we can create line start from this point, move into this point. To the bottom here 150. To the left we can set into 40. To the top uh, 150 and you can click at this point. I will select uh, these objects and you can uh, copy from uh, this point into this point. Okay. Now I will combine these uh, all objects, you can use a group command, you can type group, press enter, select the objects, enter again, and it will be combined into group. You also can change color in here, like I will set into this color. Okay, and for uh, this color, I will change again, so we can set into shine. Okay, you can click here, shine. Now we can move uh, these objects. Uh, I will use the copy tools to copy these objects from these points. And we can move into this point. Use uh, trim command to cut out these line objects. 
Okay, we copy again these objects into here and you can use a rotate command to rotate uh, the objects to the top here. Use a move command to move this object from uh, these points into this point. Use a trim command to cut this point. Okay, we rotate uh, this object. You can tap RO, press enter to use a rotate command. And now I will use move tools to move all these objects from this points into this points. Finally, we can use trim command to cut this lens object. Okay, now I will create a simple rectangle uh, for windows. You can type a rectangle, click from this point. We can set for dimension. I will set into 1300 and for width, we can set into 150. Okay, we create lens again, start from this point into here, and you can use copy tools to copy these objects to the bottom here. Now I will use a group command to connect, combine these all objects, and you can press enter. You also can change four colors into this color. Okay, and we can copy this object from this point into middle point in here, also at this point. And uh, you can use a rotate command to rotate these objects, and we can move uh, these objects from these points into this point. Okay. The next, uh, we can use a uh, hatch uh, tool. So, you can tap hatch, press enter. And here, we use a uh, default hatch, and for color, I will set into yellow. Okay, and for scale in here, we can set into 25. For uh, pick points, we can select at this point. Okay, also at this point and in this point. Finally, at this point. Okay, you can press enter to apply. You can click here to preview. Go this for preview and you can click OK to apply this edge. Okay, it will be applied. Now I will create M text. You can type M text. This for text. You can press enter and I will create at this points. We can click in here like room one and you can click uh, outside to create. It will be small for text and you can change text height in here like I will set into 150 so it will be more bigger. And see, we can use a copy tools to copy this uh, text. From this point, I will set into here, in here, okay, at this point, <coughs> in here, and click at this point. Okay, now we can change name, can double click, and I will set in here into bedroom, click outside, in here, we can set into terrace, click outside, in here for a living room. The next so in here we can set into dining room. In the top here we can set into kitchen. And the last in here I will set into toilet. Okay, you can use move tools, tap M, press enter to move body subjects like we can move into this point. Okay. Now, uh, finally, we can insert dimension into this uh, floor plans. You can tap D to open dimension styles. You can click annotative and set currents. The next, click modify. For lines in here, color, I will set into red. Also in here, into red. And for symbol arrows, uh, in here, we can set into architectural tick. For text, I will set colors into greens. And now we can click primary units. I will set precision into zero. You can click OK and you can click plus. For scales, I will set in it. You can set into 150. Okay, now you can tap dim in to create a dimension linear. You can click start from this point, move into here. Create again from this point into here. So very easy to create a dimension linear with uh, this uh, cat mat 2021. You also can create from this point. Okay, into this point. From this point into here. 
okay the next from this corner points into corner point in here okay in here click at this points and move into this point from this corner point into this point next uh, from this corner into here okay you can select uh, these dimensions and you can click a uh, point here to this point the last in the left here we can grab from this point into here okay grab again from this point into this point next from this point into here and the last uh, from uh, corner point into corner point in here click at this point we can select again this uh, dimensions and move points to this here point and also in here okay you can uh, press twice middle mouse to use uh, zoom extend and we already create uh, this uh, simple 2d floor plan with cut 2021 if you have any question about this uh, tutorials you can comment below this video